Hello everyone, uh, here we're going to be talking about the Away carry-on bag. I've been using the bag for about a year now. It's been kind of great, truth be told. I didn't realize how good it was, considering that I've owned other luggage over the course of my life, how good this one was. And it's not that it's a whole lot better, it's just that the things that it's meant to do work well. And that's always a great sign of something that's simple that adds something, some quality to one's life. The best bit about it is that it's just not expensive. I mean, you're looking at this particular case is less than 250 bucks. And you may go, oh, that is expensive. And I'd tell you that it's not. I'd say that there are other bags that are indeed cheaper than it, but they're not as good. And there are plenty of other cases out there that are a whole lot more expensive. And I'm not really sure what you're getting. For the people out there who are just looking for a really good quality case, that will get them from point A to point B that doesn't look bad and does all the things that they expect it to do, this is a great bag to look into. And they make a variety of sizes, but we are going to work with the carry-on. Firstly, and this is revolutionary, is that a pun or a special thing? Look, oh yeah, it spins. But it spins really freely. And sure, plenty of luggage does that. You got nothing to worry about, but it does. It just does it really well. I'm like, okay, cool. It's got two nice handles, kind of rubbery, plasticky, but very solid. Just feel good, you know, nothing, nothing different about it, nothing special, but just work. It's made out of a type of, I think it's probably like a polycarbonate, but it's made out of a flexible but rigid plastic. It's got some give, but it also hard to puncture. Basic features, I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing groundbreaking, nothing crazy. It's got a TSA approved lock. They have the ability to open it, check it out, close it, and then they're able to lock it again. Perfect. Obviously we've got the extendable handle. Right on the underside of where this handle is, we have a little flap here. And right there, we've got USB ports. The USB ports is attached to a battery and the battery sits right here. And it's powerful enough to charge your phone five times over, which is great. We've all had that problem where we're like, okay, it's too low, we have gotta get it charged, you know? It's just always happened. So now it's in your luggage. Very kind of recently, TSA have gone that they don't want to carry, they don't want lithium ion batteries being checked into airplanes. And there are rules about that. And each, I think airline applies that ever so slightly different. And you do need to check with your airlines. The great thing that Away have done is they've made a battery removable or detachable. So you can just take the battery out when you need to. Um, the newer models actually have an ejectable button. You can actually go in, eject the system, take it out and put it in your bag. If you own an old Away case, I don't know why then you're watching this video, but if you are watching this video and you own an old one and you have the you've got one that you have to unscrew, and you take it to an away shop, there are three ways you can actually get it replaced for free by away. So they want you to get the ejectable system because they know that the TSA rules have changed. You just go on their website, check it out, and there are three different ways of being able to get a new updated version. That says something about the company. Now for the exciting, not exciting part. Ta-da! I know it's not really particularly impressive, I've got to say. It is a case, you expect it to be. It's hard on the outside, empty on the inside. You want it to be empty because you're gonna put your stuff in it. Firstly, you've got a little pad here, you can put your knickknacks in. Once you undo the buckles, obviously you'd put your main sets of clothes right here, and then you take this, attach the buckles, and then you'd have a compression system. And the compression obviously will make it smaller and take up less room. Great, we can't go wrong with that. You can access the internal sides, and I'll just show you for the purpose of it. Here is the battery, voila. I actually have the old version. I've just learned that I need to go and update this, and I'm going to do so. Here in this little pouch, there's a little wash bag. It actually is connected. You can just, with a snap, voila. And there you go, you can undo it. It's got a zipper. 
And then you've got all of that stuff that you can put your, dirty, your dirties that you don't want anything else touching. Inside the case, you will also find charger, the cable, and you can obviously use this then to charge the battery, which you will need to do. And for the old version, if you've got it, you get a nice, lovely screwdriver, which will allow you to undo the battery and take it out. So this side has got the compression side. This side does not, and it's very basic. It's just an empty space that's got a, uh, a zip line mesh to it to hold anything inside. Great for putting your shoes, toiletries, anything that you kind of can't compress is a great place to put it. When it does have loaded with stuff and I'm traveling with it, I don't feel like it's slowing me down. I don't feel like it gets in the way. I feel like it's easy to move around. It's small enough. Can't really get heavy enough unless you put bricks in it specifically to, to upset yourself while you're traveling, which you shouldn't do. Good tip there, really good tip. Everything about it works and it's smooth and it functions and it does what it's meant to do. But since it does all of those things and it does it with a plum, you got nothing to worry about. It's a really functional system. I have found that I have traveled with just the regular carry-on for trips of two weeks. Obviously you need to do a little washing in between, which works for most circumstances, you know? Um, it can take a suit, it can take, you know, a pair of shoes and a pair of sandals. Another cool thing that Away do is that they do um, monogramming. They actually get artists to hand paint your initials onto the case. So you might go, oh, it's rather ordinary. Or you might go, oh, it's, you know, oh, someone else is gonna have the same one as me. Well, you can then get it monogrammed with your initials and then you'll be able to spot it when it's on the conveyor belt randomly, you know? Um, which is just a neat little extra added on thing. And it's not, really any more expensive. You still will pay, I think, under 250 for this particular bag. You can get a case that will last you a really long time. It's well made, it's really well thought out. It works, which is what you want it to do. And it doesn't look half bad. I mean, it doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, it's, not, it's nothing particularly special about it. It doesn't have cool rivets and you know, it doesn't look like it's from the 40s or anything. Um, but it's good surface to throw some stickers on, get your initials in for not much, and um, you can you can personalize it to yourself. They do this in a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors, but they also do limited edition ones, and they also do a currently that I've seen an aluminum style, which is very cool. Bit more expensive, obviously. So they they have come up with their own way of making it unique for each person. If you've got extraordinarily sensitive equipment and you're traveling, firstly, you probably want to get those extraordinarily sensitive equipment onto the cabin with you. But this case is not a hard, hard case. It is protective. It seems to be very durable. But if you're dealing with like many thousands of dollars worth of equipment inside it, I would not utilize it for that. It's always worth doing your own research. Yes, you're watching videos and learning about the stuff, maybe from firsthand experience, but it's always worthwhile doing your own research to find to the truth of what you think is important. Um, I've just known that this case has really worked well for me. And part of it is looking for a product that is good, and good value. And I think that's the thing about the Away case that really speaks to me, is that it's just good value. It does what I want it to do, and I know that luggage is luggage, but it seems to do it better than other ones. And I've paid for other ones that are more expensive, and that I find this to be a better case. Which is strange. Not that there's a whole lot going on, you know, it's just an open space where you stick your clothes in and then you go and lug it. But maybe because it's just, it does all the variety of things very well that it all comes together and says oh wow this is a great value and the way as a company seem to stand up for it and want you to be excited about their product considering the fact that they stay on top of these things about rules and regulations and making sure that their customers are happy so yeah excellent <laughs>